here we have <coughs> question again about loci and construction. Question number seven, 12 November 2015, paper four, variant one. It's quite a long question on loci. And um, the first part of the question tells us um, that we have a scale drawing. So it's also got something to do with scale drawings. We have a scale drawing shows the position of three towns A, B, and C on a map. The scale of the map is one centimeter, represents 10 kilometers. Okay, so on this map, one centimeter represents 10 kilometers. Okay. So let me just put the pen on properly. Okay. So one centimeter is representing 10 kilometers. Okay. Now, they told us to find the actual distance AB. So I've, I've uh, um, done this su such that the, the ruler is the right scale for this diagram. Now, one thing that many of you will have noticed is that the copies that you have of your past papers, <coughs> the lengths don't work out quite correctly for when you have scale drawings. And the reason being is because when, pho when papers are photocopied, um, the scale kind of changes somewhat. So your copies that you have are copies of copies of the originals, whereas the original paper that comes to you from the examining board will be a printed copy, which will be the right scale exactly. So that's why you sometimes you find your answers when you have to measure are slightly different from the answers in the mark schemes. So over here, we, we can see if I measure on my diagram, which I've made so that it's exactly the same as it should be, the, uh, the distance um, AB, the, the, um, the length AB on the map, okay, the length AB on the scale drawing is equal to 12.5 centimeters. Therefore, the distance AB, the distance AB is going to be 12.5 times 10, and that's going to give you kilometers, which is 125 kilometers. That scale automatically converts from centimeters to kilometers. So one centimeter is 10 kilometers. 12.5 centimeters will be 12.5 times 10, which is 125 kilometers. So that's the answer for part A. Find the actual distance AB. It's 125 kilometers. Okay, so let me just write that down here. <coughs> Come back. Okay. So you have 125 kilometers is the distance. Then it says measure the bearing of A from B. Measure the bearing of A from B. So let me get rid of this ruler. The right scale, so I'll, I'll leave it up here in case we need it again. Stick it in this place up here. Um, I need to have, if I want to measure an angle, I need to take my protractor. Okay, this is a protractor. And they told us to measure the bearing of A from B. Okay, so let's work out what that actually means. The bearing of A from B. <coughs> okay, that means the bearing of A from B. That means you want to get to A and you are at B. You want to get to A and you are at B. So the bearing of A from B is as, as if you're at B and you're trying to f face the direction so that you'll be looking towards A. You want to try and get towards A. Now the bearing of A from B means that you have to draw the north line at B because that's where you are. Okay, and bearings are always measured from the north line and in the clockwise direction and always written with three figures. <coughs> so the north line is already drawn here. So we try to find the angle of A from B. We're trying to find the angle as if you're facing north from B and you're turning clockwise until you're looking towards A. So this is the angle that we need to write down as the bearing of A from B. Okay, now our protractor, most of you have protractors which are like a semicircle shape. Okay, and they don't have like a whole circle. And we're not able to measure this whole angle. Okay, however, what you could do is measure the angle inside. This is the reflex angle, the angle inside. This is an obtuse angle. Okay, as lo sorry, that's an acute angle. As long as the angle that you're trying to measure is less than 180 degrees, you can do it with one of these 
D per factors. So if you measure the angle on the inside, we know that the angles, the, the angle on the inside here, the one that's not reflex plus the reflex one gives you a whole circle. So what we need will be 360 minus that angle. Okay, so let's measure that angle first. Okay, so I'm going to put my compass so that the, pin, the, the crosshairs are on point B exactly. And it's pointing, zero is pointing exactly along the north line. I'm going to measure the angle. Okay, going towards A. It looks like it's exactly 70 degrees. Now, I'm not going to write 110 degrees. We're going to start with the scale that says zero. So I'm starting with the inner scale. So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 70. So that, that angle is actually 70 degrees. Okay, that angle is 70 degrees. So I'm going to write down here on the inside 70 degrees. The angle is 70 degrees. Get the pen back. <coughs> so the angle here is 70 degrees. We need not the angle. We need this angle, which is 360 minus 70, which is 290 degrees. So the bearing that we want, the bearing of A from B, is 290 degrees, which makes sense because it's more than 270, okay? <coughs> That's a bearing of A from B. And then part C says, write down the scale 1 centimeter to 10 kilometers in the form 1 to N. That means you want a ratio without any units, okay, in its simplest form. This is not in the simplest form because it has units. So you have to write them to the same unit. So 1 centimeter, let's convert 10 kilometers into centimeters. So you've got 10 kilometers. Now you have a thousand kilometers in a meter, so multiply by a thousand. That's now one centimeter to uh, ten thousand um, meters. And then we want to convert from kilometers to meters to centimeters. Sorry, from meters to centimeters, so you multiply by an, another hundred. So you'll have one, two, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So you have one million. Okay, so one to one million is the scale of this drawing in its simplest form, in the form 1 to n, where you have to have 1 in the first part of the ratio, and then another number with the same units as that 1. Okay, so it's not actually, in this case, it's the simplest form. Sometimes 1 to n is not the simplest form. In this case, what they want is, to, they want the hemp, you want to have 1 in the first part of the ratio, and the second part of the ratio has to be the same unit as the 1. Okay, the same unit. So that concludes questions A, B, and C. In the next video, I will be answering the rest of this question.